okay my dear students uh, today i am going to give you a wonderful short trick here so this is a block of mass malim collides with four blocks m 2m 4m and 8m okay and they stick together move with a common velocity and is asking us to find out the total energy loss it's a it's a perfectly inelastic collision he is asking us to find out the loss of kinetic energy and you can just see the process here he has used the conservation of momentum and he has find the common velocity when both all will combine together move with a common velocity he is asking us to find out the common velocity he found the common velocity again uh, he got the loss of kinetic energy formula kinetic energy before collision and kinetic energy after collision subtraction he has done this lengthy method he has used and i think if you are a jee main student or need student if you want to try this problem it will take nearly 2 minutes but i'll solve you this problem by just 2 seconds that's it how how i'm going to solve so here the simple technique is i'll take all these blocks as body of mass m2 and m 2m 4m and 8m and they are combined to uh, become it is going to be 15m okay and this is a body of mass m1 which is just m that's it and you can find out the percentage loss that is delta k by k initial because is asking by the time the last block moves at short total energy loss to that of the original energy so total energy loss to that of initial energy that is the meaning here so for that the shortcut formula is you can write just m2 by m1 plus m2 into 100 that's it okay so this is the shortcut formula instead of using all these nuisance and nonsense whenever he is asking us to find out the percentage loss here and i will tell you how can i derive this formula how did i create this shortcut that also i'll tell you that also i'll tell you don't worry about that so what is m2 here m2 means it is 15 m so m1 plus m2 means it is m plus again 15 m so therefore uh, it is going to be 15 m divided by 16 m okay cancel and into 100 you have to use here into 100 you have to do into 100 so here 15 by 16 you can just calculate and see how much you are going to get nearly you will be getting this one as 93.75 percentage 15 by 16 if you calculate it is going to be 0.9375 and if you multiply with 100 it is going to be 93.75 that's it with a single formula single step formula i am able to do this problem and i am able to get this answer here like this very easily okay so uh, the next question arises is how did i get this formula because uh, many students are telling sir you how many shortcuts we have to remember so no need to remember here there is a concept behind that it's not a a uh, blind shortcut here like that this is a concept behind that what is that concept let me discuss about that also okay so for that here you all know there is a formula for percentage loss of kinetic energy what is that formula that is half m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into u1 minus u2 whole square here single block is uh, colliding with a uh, blocks uh, combination of 5 m 15 m because this is a single block so this is uh, the second blocks combination that is 15 that is m 2 m and all these blocks combined together is forming 15 and all the blocks are at rest so u2 is going to be 0 so therefore i can write now delta k by k initial is going to be how much half m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into u1 whole square because u2 is zero second blocks combination of blocks were rest of first blocks goes sticks together and moves with a common velocity that's why i am taking like this then kinetic energy of initial will become how much half m u1 square that's it so half of gets cancel and this is m1 m1 gets cancels u1 u1 square gets cancel what is left now at last it is m2 by m1 plus m2 see this is loss of 
kinetic energy in the case of perfectly inelastic collision this formula you will get in each and every book shortcut formula this derivation is there for that also so it's a very simple shortcut so therefore what i am going to get now it's very simple by using this shortcut i am able to solve the problem and able to get the problem solution in just if you know this formula without pen and paper also you can do m2 by m1 plus m2 in mind you can calculate and get the answer so hope you have enjoyed this thank you